Wacha ni ongea vitu ile ina ina attract Mungu kwako. Things that attract God to a man. Vitu ile ina attract Mungu kwa mwanadamu na kwa mwanaume kama wewe. Na baada ya hii utaniambia kama bingu iko attracted kwako ama bado. Hallelujah. The things that attract God in the life of a man. Amen. Amen. Na mimi vile nimeumbwa, I am not attracted to everything. Hata yeah. wewe, si ni kweli? Yeah. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu yupo. God is not attracted to everything. God is not attracted to everything. Na hata kuna vile tunaweza fashion kanisa, Mungu aache kuwa attracted kwa hiyo church. Hata branch ile unasimamia, ukwe you are a branch pastor. Kuna vile unaiweza iweka, bingu ikuwe haiangali hapo. Na ndio ninataka nifundishe hapa. Ndio macho ya Mungu itoangalie. Wale tunaenda tunatembea Israel. Sijui kama kuna watu hapa wametembea Israel kama mimi. Bishop mmoja. Kwani mnaendaka wapige kopa? Hebu nione. <laughs> yaani mnamaanisha hii mkutano yote ni bishop tu ameenda Israel. Wengine mnatembea wapi? Mnajipaka. Mkutano kama hivi tunafaa tupitisha wazee wote waelekee Israel. Semeni amina. Hallelujah. Wale tunaenda Israel tunasoma scripture tukifika huko. Macho ya Mungu kwenye jitronome iko hapa 24/7. Bibi nasema macho ya Mungu iko hivi 24/7 from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Na ndio tunafika huko maana si rahisi Mungu kuangalia maybe Kenya. Twende huko atuangalie tukiwa huko. Ukifika huko unasema Bwana ndio hii shamba ile unaangalia 24/7. Nimefika hapa. Na mimi nilifika Israel watu wa Mungu nikasikia Mungu na Jesus jai msikie. Nilifika huko nikajua kweli there is an open heaven there. So tamani kufika huko waislamu wa Isra, wa wanaenda Mecca. Yeah. Na sisi tunaenda wapi? Hii yeah. Biblia tunaisomea bali unaenda kuisomea hapo hapo. Unaona wa, ma, mountain of beatitude. Wanasema hapa ndio Yesu alifundishia the beatitudes. Blessed. Kanisa yetu inaitwa Blessed Church. Kwa hivyo nilipofika mlima wa blessedness, nikasikia bigu imefunguka. Mungu akanionyesha kwa maono kanisa ile itajenga nikirudi Kenya. Saidi yo tunajeka kule nyeri 10,000 sitting capacity kathitro Imepanda Niliona nikiwa huko Sasa mi nigetaka mungu wa niangarie nikiwa hapa Kenya Na diyo ninafundisha vitu hile ina attract mungu kwako Watu wa mungu buwana sifile Kitu cha kwanza kina attract mungu kwa maisha ya mwanadamu Ni kitu inaitua holiness Utakatifu Habia jirani utakatifu. Utakatifu. Utaka Holiness. Utakatifu. Na nilikuwa naangalia mambo ya utakatifu. Naona Biblia inasema tumeitwa kwa utakatifu. We have been called to holiness. Si kitu unaweza kuja ufikirie nitakuwa mtakatifu ama sitakuwa. Biblia inasema first Thessalonian 47 we have been called unto holiness not unto uncleanliness hatujaitiwa uchafu tumeitiwa utakatifu kwa hivyo katikati ya mwito tumeitwa mwito moja tumeitwa ni mwito ya nini utakatifu na nikiangalia dunia mahali inaenda inataka kutuchafua watu wa Mungu systemu ya dunia saa hii tunaongea ni ikiwezekana dunia hii Karibu kila mtu amechafuka. Sio simu ndio hii tumewekewa vitu kwa karibu ya kutuchafua nafsi zetu. Nimeona Kenya wame introduce ka system fulani haikuwa miaka imepita. Kila kinyozi unaenda kuna mwanamke anakusumbua kichwa. Nimeona wameongezea sasa ukisuguliwa kuna mwingine anatingiza nyuma mbele yako. Unatokea hapo ukiwa mtoto ya shetani kidogo. <laughs> Ukiwa mtoto ya shetani kidogo. Kweli kabisa. <laughs> Wazee mmekutana na hizi vitu ama mjakutana nazo. Nimeenda kuingia mpaka mwingine anaweka mkono huko ananifanya hivi. Anifanya hivi ni gera modo hani ya digoshoka. Hapa siwezi rudi. Ili fact nilifika Nyeri. Nyeri nafikiria mimi nimeenda 3 years. Nilikuwa nafikiri nikifika Nyeri kule ni ushaga hakuna hiyo vitu. Kwa hivyo nikauliza mtu mmoja hapa kuna mali inaweza tengenezwa devu nywele. Akaniambia kuja nikupeleke. 
huko dio shetani huko <laughs> nikategedezo nikavoshwa vizuri alafu mwanamke akaniambia ni vizuri kukusumbua hapa kidogo tu usikie vizuri analeta hiyo kiti hapo anakuralisha kwa matiti vizuri alafu anakufanya hivyo anakuambia unasikiaje naambi ya nuambi ya mtu ikawa unajua umeanza kuwa wa shetani polepole system ya dunia ni kutichafua <laughs> mimi naona mahali inaenda nitafanya kama bishop mmoja nimemuuliza nikamuuliza bishop unanyolewa wapi akaniambia nimetafuta machini nyumbani na ninapigia kinyozi yule ninataka mwanaume anakuja hapa ananitengeneza ananioshea hapa hapa aliniambia ni, na miaka yangu aliniambia niko na 57 nitaangukia kwa hiyo wasichana hapo. <laughs> Waacha ni tengenezewe kwa nyumba. Nikamwambia asante bishop kwa kutuonyesha njia. Kamwambia hata sisi mahali imefika tupita hiyo. Bwana asifiwe. Systemu ya dunia ni kutuchafua. Maana Biblia inasema tumeitwa kwa utakatifu. Mchungaji kabla ni hubiri, kuhubiri ni secondary. Niliitwa kwanza kwa utakatifu. Wale wote tulipiga magoti tukaokoka. Hatu kuokoka kwa sababu ya kuhubiri. Tuliokoka kwa ajili ya uzima. Haleluya. Na ndio mtu atebee na Mungu utakatifu ndio unavutia Mungu kwako. Ataiwe mwana wa Mungu. Amen. So wazee ningetamani tupiganie utakatifu. Amen. Na nikihubiri hii utakatifu ni nguo ya dani. Yes, ina wea. Mimi si juu mvaa kuogani hapa inawea mko nazo <laughs> yule hana inawea sijui anakaaje <laughs> lakini sijui kala yake inawea yako holiness ni inawea hatujui wewe ndio unajua kama kwa mtakatifu sisi hatujui utakatifu hatujui mhm hiyo ni siri yako na Mungu kama wewe ni mtakatifu hiyo ni siri yako na Mungu. Hatujuangi hata hatuionangi. Mhm. -mm. Ujai kutana na mtu anajifanya mtakatifu tu kwa kuangaliwa, lakini ni dangerous person in the church. Mtu wezi fikiria anaweza kufanya kile anafanya kwa siri. Lakini hapa tukiiba tunapiga makofi, lakini ndani yake anajua kabisa. Hata kama tunatembea na akina bishop Gekelo, mimi ni kuazidikisha ile mchafuko iko ndani yangu ninaielewa tulienda kutembea hapa karibu tu hapa Ghana na rafiki yangu kutoka hapa mchungaji tukasoma Monday all the way to Friday classes from 6 to evening busy learning then Saturday we were very tired tukasema ah twende tukaangalie kule kwa beach vile kuna kaa baharini tukaenda tukitembea polepole nao warembo kule wa dada wanategea watu foreigners kule kwa beach kila mahali unambo how are you from which country can i accompany you rafiki yangu na ni pasta mkubwa hapa Kenya akaambia huyo sister you look nice akaambia are you sure <laughs> are you sure akaambia how can you prove it that i'm nice mimi saa hiyo nimebeba mke wangu tunatembea na yeye tumeenda na yeye hizo nimemlipia ndege 100 plus thousand tukae na yeye pale naye jamaa amekuja soro hapa mwili imechemuka kuchemuka macho ya mwili imefunguka akwambia following day nikatuma mtu nikamwambia hebu enda mahali fulani mwambie jirani nani anipatie chaja yangu Alipobisha mlango hivi. Yule dada aliambia you are nice. Dia alifungua mlango. Mwanamke yule tulikuwa naye kwa beach. Dia amelala na na pasta kule. Hamjui hajawahi muona. Nikasema akirudi Kenya kanisa yake itapiga makofi. Wakisema Reverend karibu. Karibu. Naye mashetani inapiga makofi. Madhabahu inakaa kama mahali pa shetani uchafu Mungu ni mtakatifu 
Kwa hivyo lazima kila mtu hapa akubali kwenda bedroom tukaoge. Leo sio kinao kinyatoe dhambi. Na ninaamini leo mumeoga mwili. Unajua wazee kuna wale wanakataa kuoga. Mimi nimesoma Bible nikajua hata kuoga mwili si ati ni kitu naweza shukuria hivi. Tuli nilisoma kwa Bible Hebrew chapter 10 verse is it verse 22. Inasema na tuoge mwili na maji safi. I read it in the Bible. Hebu tuitafute hapa na ndio mtu. Kuanzia leo hatutakusumia kusukumia kwenda kuoga. Utakuwa unaoga voluntarily. Verse 22 let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our heart sprinkled from an evil conscience and hold fast uh-huh, and our bodies washed with the pure water. Amen. Kwa hivyo kuoga mwili ni biblical. Mioyo yoshwe na damu ya Yesu. Lakini mwili tuoge na nini? Uliza jirani kama alioga vizuri. Muulize tuna usimuogope. Ni wewe dhaabide ulioga asubuhi. Hii mambo ya kuoga passport imeishia hapa. Na kukaa 3 days haujaoga. Imeishia kwa ibada hii. Lazima tuoge. Mumekubali tuoge na maji? Safi. Good. Na ni mwili si roho. Roho kuna viti yake ya kuosha. Amen. Kwa hivyo kuoga ni ni biblia. Ni biblia na ni lazima. So kiroho pia lazima tukubali kwenda kwa bedroom ya kiroho. Tuoshe nafsi zetu. Maana Mungu ni mtakatifu. Hebu ni tusome kwenye maandiko ya Second Thessalonian First Thessalonian chapter 4. First Thessalonian chapter 4. Tusome tu verse 1. Nimekuwa na interest nikiandaa huu ujumbe kwa hii scripture sana. First Thessalonian 4:1 Finally brethren we urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more just as you received from us how you ought to walk to please God Zile unafaa kutembea ndio uweze kumfurahisha Bwana Umesikia tunafaa tuwafundishe Zile unafaa kutembea Dio Mungu akue amefurahishwa na wewe na jicho yake ianze kuangalia huyo mtu. Kwa hivyo kuna vile unaweza tembea Mungu aanze kukuondokea polepole. How you ought to walk. Verse 2. You know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus Christ. For this is the will of God, your sanctification that you should abstain from sexual immorality that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor mweze kuondokea sexual immorality usinzi usinzi na kama kuna kitu imeangusha watu wengi hapa Kenya yetu ni hii kitu ninaongea sana sana wanaume skat mwanamke kama kuna kitu lazima kila mwanaume apigane naye ni hiki kitu atimweze ku abstain from sexual immorality maana hii ndio inachafua watu sexual immorality ushalati usinzi fornication na mzee unajua hafanyi fornication kama ako na mke inaitwa adultery na kama ako na msichana mdogo ndio yeye yeah, anafanya fornication na yeye huyu anafanya adultery na bibili pamoja so mtumishi wa Mungu akiandikia kanisa anaandika habari za utakatifu anasema ninawasii tujue jinsi ya kutembea ndio Mungu afurahie kile tunafanya mimi nafikiri kuna ibada nyingi zinatolewa na Mungu achukui hata kama zinaonekana zinatolewa maana zimechafuka na mtu asidaganywe na kipawa Uh-uh. Asidaganywe na vipawa. Hata usidaganywe na kujazwa roho, unaweza kufanya washarati na ukuje unzungumze kwa lugha. Kwanza usikie kama ndio imeongezewa vizuri. Na hata utasinua mikono usikie ni kama Mungu yupo. Lakini uchafu. Na moja hapo tumeagua kitu ile inachafua watu, sexual immorality. 
mimi mtumishi wa Mungu akishida hii mwanaume ya shida hii inajiwaga kuna mahali ataenda lakini kama hata ishida hii ministry yake itaanguka nilisoma mahali habari hii ninaongea Mungu akasema job that one verse number 9 siji kama kuna mtu anaweza nisomea job that one verse 9 inasema na mwanaume yote akiangalia mwanamke aende kwake amtamani na aende kwake Mungu anaanza kusema vitu vile itafanyikia huyo mwanaume hao wote wameoa wanaume wote wameoa hiyo neno ni yao kama ukikuwa na watano hawajaoa tukaenda kwingine lakini kama hao wameoa inasemaje kuna mtu amefika unaweza nisaidia job that one verse 9 e, unaweza soma kwa kikuyu kikamba ile umefika haraka wewe soma tutasikia moyo wangu kidaganywa na mwanamke na niende kwa mlango ya jirani yangu na mke wangu asiage ngano kwa wengine in fact ya na mwanaume mwingine alale na yeye mwanaume wote amwahi kulala nje na mwanamke mwingine ukiwa umeoa laana ya mke wako kutafuta alalwe na alalwe na yeye kama kuna kiswahili kama hiyo na mwanaume mwingine iko juu yake very soon atalalwa na yeye sijui ni nani hata kama ni watchman umeajiri atajikuta juu yake sio mimi nimesema in fact ya kikuu inasema na mudrumio nake akome nake kwa hivyo hapa hatuwezi kosa mzee mmoja mke wake lazima alalwe na ndio neno litimie <laughs> nani alisema uende kwa wenyewe ukaleta laana juu ya mke wako sasa natafuta na hiyo roho ndio mnasikia wanaume wengine mke mzuri ati mtu yule amepatikana wa kumuendea ni watchman wa geti yako ni wewe ulienda ukaleta ile laana kwako sasa ikifika hapo ni wagapi mnangojea mke wako atafutwe na mwingine Is the Bible Na ndio Biblia inasema tusilete hii uchafu kwa familia zetu Bwana asifiwe Amen Nafikiri inabidi niombe mtu yote amwahi kupita laini akaenda nje Ili mkutano wa wanaume tuombe hapa Tutakuombea baadaye Na ukikataa hii neno itatimia Usiwahi ni blame baadaye. Nilikuja kukusaidia na neno. Kwa hivyo uwezi ni blame useme hii. Hiyo kitu inamtafutaka hapa hapa. Na ukisoma namba zinasema hivi. Mwanamke naye akienda nje hata mume wake asijue. Biblia inasema roho ya bitterness itamuingia mume wake. Popote alipo naye mume akilala nje ndio hiyo hatari zimeanza ya kwanza bila sema laana itakuwa juu ya mke wake aanze kutafutwa na wengine e, tunaweza tafuta na wewe 145 <laughs> tutafute na wewe baba si tumekuja kusemezana neno na tumetoka bali ndio tuweze kusemezana tupate hekima ya rohoni si kweli 5 e, verse 14 thank you 5 verse 14 If the spirit of Jesus come upon him and he becomes Jesus of his wife who has defiled herself unaweza kuanza hapa nyuma uone inasema verse number 11 and the lord spoke unto moses saying speak to the children of israel and say unto them wabiaje if any man's wife goes astray and behave unfaithful toward him and a man lies with her carnally and it is hidden from the eyes of her husband hata mume asijue and it is concealed that she has defied herself na afiche hakuna mtu amejua ya kwamba alilala nje look at that and there was no witness against her na hakuna mshahidi nor was she caught the spirit of jealousy comes upon him and becomes jealous of his wife anakuwa na wivu mkubwa that's why unasikia mwanaume ameamka roho imemuingia ameua mtu ni mke wake alilala nje 
tusiongea wa mama hawako hapa tutaongea kwa mikutano yao tuongee yako mwanaume job 31 verse 9 job 31 verses number 9 haya ni nani alikuwa anasoma eh mchungaji tusome tusome eh yes if my heart have been deceived by a woman aha or if i have laid i have laid wait at my neighbor's door nilale inje kwa kwa neighbor yangu niende eh enda let then let my wife watch out and to another naye asiagie mwingine ngano Oh no they are gonna or in this. And let others bow down upon her. Na mwingine arare na yeye. Endelea. Verse 11. 11 yes. For this is an heinous crime. Maana hii ni uovu mkubwa. Ye. Yes. It is an iniquity to be punished by the by the judges. In fact inasema ipelekwe bere ya koti ya sheria yeah. ijajiwe hapo. Mm. Ii dhambi si ya kudiru na rais rais. Mm. Mm-mm inafaa kupelekwa kwa church then verse number 12 verse 12 for it is a fire that consumes to destruction is fire that consumes to destruction what does it do to the finally and would root out all my increases na kila kitu ulikuwa naye bibili nasema inaakisha moto that's why unaona kuna watu wanamalizia very poor unashaka kwa nini mtu amemalizia vibaya hivi ukishunguza maisha yake alijiingiza kwa washarati Uasherati Biblia inasema unaweza kuwa na gari kama hii. Mimi sina shida na mtu kuwa na gari lakini nataka 20 years nikupate na better car. Yeah. Nataka ukiwa na utajiri. Hiyo utajiri kidogo Mungu aiongezee. Yeah. Lakini ukijiigiza kwa anasa. Ya kwanza tumeona judgment inasema mke wako atatafutwa na mtu mwingine. Ya pili kila kitu uko nacho kitaakishiwa moto usherati huakisha moto na kuna kesi nimedeal naye hapa nimedeal na kesi ya mzee ako very bitter tajiri mkubwa na huyu tajiri ako bitter kwa sababu ya nini nikamuuliza ni nini imefanya ushuke ananiambia 2008 2010 alikuwa na truck sat 10 million biashara za 10 million once aniambia mimi pesa haiko shida kwangu shida yangu ni huyu mke wangu nikamuuliza why do you blame your wife he down for yako yote umeweka akaniambia ninajua kile nafanya tulionekana vile tuna succeed hapa tao tukacholewa matajiri wakaketi wakasema ni rahisi kuwaleta chini tutafute wanawake watafute huyu jamaa <laughs> kama hatutapata jamaa mke wake atafutwe mpaka apatikane muke akapatikana na rafiki rafiki ya husband yake siku ile alikubali kurana huyo tafikia mume wake sijui begu za mzee zilipelekwa wapi <laughs> ameshuka ananiambia mimi hata 100 bob sina 100 bob blame my wife ananiambia I'll never forgive her nimejaribu kufanya hiyo counseling hata sasa imekata. Mzee anasema I know muulize ni nani alikubali kufungua mlango wa kuisha kwetu. Tulikuwa wazuri. Wakajua kuisha kwetu. Ni kuf... watu wanajua nafikiri ukienda kwa mganga hutapata eh, dictionary utapata hii. Kwa mganga upate dictionary utapata hii. Haupati atlas. Na hawasomi hii ndio waifuate wapate maarifa ya rohoni That's why muti yote mkubwa kama una nyota ile jia itafungua nyota yako kukamatwa ni usharati usharati The Bible says Proverbs 7 verse 25 Inasema ni wengi wameumizwa <laughs> Na hiyo jia ya huyo mwanamke wakakuwa na jeraha wakanyongwa the we are strained wakakatwa sijui kama umefika hapo proverbs proverbs 5:7 verse 25 <laughs> ni wengi 
Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Let not thy heart decline to her ways. Usi kupari jia zake. Go not astray in her paths. Usi ende kwa jia zake. For she has cast down many wounded. Ameleta wengi chini na hawaleti tu anawaacha na jeraha. Endelea. Ye. Yes. Many strong men have been slain. No, who? Strong men have done what? Slain by her. But have been strained by her. Her house is the way to hell. Ukitaka kufa haraka. Ukitaka kifo cha mapema. That's why unasikiaga mama akiokea anasema, "Bwana siwe eh mimi eh mimi ni mujane." Mzee wangu alikuwa anaitwa eh Wangondo. Eh alikufa 1973. Eh, na mimi bado Mungu ameniweka. <laughs> Mzee alikufa miaka gapi? 47 years. Na mama bado anatikiza masikio hapa Kenya. Ana shukuri. Mzee alizikwa. Kwa nini wazee wanakuwa maskini? Wamefungua wengi jia za msharati. Kwa nini wazee wanakufa mapema? Wamefungua jia za msharati. Kwa nini nyota za wazee wengi zimekamatwa? Ndio hii barabara. Hii ukienda ukue aposto kama mimi ukue bisho kama mimi barabara ni hiyo hiyo barabara ni hiyo hiyo kuna mtu niliombea hapa Kenya nikapiga nika magoti nilikuwa fasting mimi nikiwa fasting naombea kanisa la mwili wa Kristo naombea wachungaji wote hata kama simjui hata kama anijui nasema Mungu kubuka mtu fulani kubuka kazi anayofanya naombeaga watu wajui na waombea nikafika kuombea bishop fulani nikasema Mungu na huyu bishop umuinue umtendee wema mtendee fadhili usiku nikaonyeshwa ndoto yake nikaonyeshwa ati akitoka mahali pa juu kwa ndoto yangu wazi ameshuka na mimi nikaanza kumwambia bishop usishuke don't come down bishop na mo please don't come akashuka akashuka akakuwa mtu wa kawaida then nimeketi hapa Nairobi nafanya tu counseling zangu mwanamke akasikia nikihubiri nikasema watu wale hatari kulala nao hapa duniani mmoja ni pasta wa pili ni muganga nikaanza kuchunguza hii maandiko sikiza mama akakuja kanisani akaniambia nataka kuona mimi nimelala na bishop fulani alitaja yule niliona akishuka kwa ndoto nikamwambia uwezi kuenda karibu na huyo bishop haukuogopa kuchomeka na mafuta akaniambia wapi wewe paka kwa gari acha hiyo unasema diplomatic paka kwa gari Nuwanda ameshuka ameshuka nikamwambia ndio niamini hii maneno mko na mtoto akaniambia niko na msichana wake kamwambia leta msichana kasichana kanafanana na bishop nikamuuliza na laana ya kifo ya kulala na mchungaji akao na mafuta utaiondoaje juu yako akaniambia nitaokoka vizuri nikamwambia wokofu baadaye nikamuita akamuuliza mmeachana na yule bishop akaniambia nimeshindwa hata yameshindwa amekufa na corona huyo mwanamke kukohoa tu kifua kufungana hakufikisha dhili ya wazana corona <laughs> kaenda nikaambiwa nikamuziki nikasema ni si yeye ndio hadi kodi kama ndo awedhilie bishop ma <laughs> mimi siziki huyu <laughs> yani ameangusha bishop mkubwa mafuta imeisha amenyonya yote amenyonya yote <laughs> mimi nakwambia nitachukia umu usharati kwa moyo wangu wote. Na nyinyi nataka tushukie hiyo kitu. Yes. Tukubaliane waze. Yes. Let's zip up. Zip up. Ero shio kiweka zip zifunga vizuri. <laughs> Funga. <laughs> Nasema tuibadilishe kabisa kabisa kabisa. Iko teremusha zip. Imenyonya mafuta ya Mungu Kenya. <laughs> Tungekuwa na wachungaji wakubwa lakini zip imetuharibia maneno. Na mnakaa kama nyinyi hamjali jaribiwa. Vile mnakaa hivi amen amen. Amen apostle amen. Yaani mnakaa tu nyinyi uko heaven. Eh, lakini najua kuna mtu tunalainisha tuna saa hii. Hii barabara hatarudi. Semeni amina. Amina. The Lord is with us. Tunasaidika watumishi wa Mungu. Tuendelee na neno. 
na ndiyo mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa Apostle Paul ameandikia kanisa akasema tujihadhari na nini na uasharati tujihadhari na nini uasharati atira kitu tunaweza kujirinda kuweza kujirinda naye ni hii kitu Bwana asifiwe tuendelee na neno tuendelee na neno mimi najua nitasaidia wazee wa generation yetu Amen. Nataka Mungu ainue mapastors walikuwa na nguvu ya Bwana. Hata kabla hujahubiri ukisimama hivi anointing inaanza kutembea. Amen. Utakatifu. Amen. Ukishika microphone hivi neema inaanza kutembea. Amen. Utakatifu. Haleluya. Madhabahu ya moyo umeilinda. Ukiinua mikono hivi neema ya Mungu inatembea. Semeni amina. Na ninaomba katika jina la Yesu utashinde jaribio hili la usharati. Amen. Kila mzee yako hapa aseme amina. Ba bishop tulio hapa tuseme amen. Amen. Haleluya. Hata jana niliona wanasema sijui bishop wapi waliweka kwa news. Sikia vibaya sana. Ba Anglican. Uliona? Baya sana. Eh? Mkuu hapa. Ilikuwa mbaya sana. Ah, baya. Ush. Not good. Jana. Niliona nikasikia vibaya. Tena wanamchukua man. Oh god. Wanachukua cameras. Kifua ikiwa empty kijaribu kwa god tena yeye simu hata hakuna mtu anatashana naye kwa hii kiwanja ako hivi eh anatashana hivi anasema kasi anasini wewe ulitakaja aliuza kasi chana kasi chana anasema asio mimi tena wanaileta hivyo hivyo kasikia vibaya tuishinde jamani amen let's overcome it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me hear an amen. Amen. So turudi kwa wa Thessalonike wa kwanza na sema habari za utakatifu. Utakatifu. First Thessalonian tumesoma chapter 4 and verses number tumefika verse 2 or verse 3. Hapo ndio ninaenda saa hii. First Thessalonian. Yule amefika anasoma maana tunasaidiana neno kusoma. Tunasaidiana umefika baba endelea yes mungu hajatuita kwa uchafu unto holiness therefore nikisa yule ambaye ana dharau hii apostle paul anasema yule ana dharau kila ninafundisha si mwanadamu anadharau anadharau endelea uh-huh. but, but god who has also given unto us his holy spirit, holy spirit. not the word holy spirit roho mtakatifu mwenye anadharau mafundisho haya vitu hizi ninafundisha sio mimi anadharau na si mwanadamu yote anadharau anadharau Mungu ambaye pia ametupatia roho wake mtakatifu. Hiyo inakuambia roho mtakatifu anaitwa mtakatifu. Yeah. Hapendi uchafu. Yes. Asifiwe Bwana Yesu. Amen. I pray for the spirit of holiness Amen. to fill your soul. Amen. Naomba roho ya utakatifu ijaye mioyo yenu. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Wa Ibrania 12 mstari wa 14 inasema without holiness no one will see the lord bila utakatifu hakuna atakaye muona bwana yeah. mimi si kuokoka nipate gari ukweli mtu wa mungu mm-hmm. mimi si kuokoka nipewe mashamba yeah. in fact si kuokoka niweza kuhubiri vile nahubiri niliokoka ni muone mungu sio kama mnatamani siku moja tutamuona bwana amen tumuone hapa duniani akitutetea tumuone hapa duniani kwa familia zetu tumuone kwa kanisa letu lakini baada ya maisha haya tutamuona Yesu na kuombea maisha ya utakatifu. Amen. Kati ya amen. Sema tu amen mzee kidogo. Haleluya. Amen. Pokeni roho ya utakatifu. Amen. Roho ya utaua. Ni roho. Romans inaita roho the spirit of holiness. Na mimi naomba hata ukienda America utarudi na Yesu. Amen. Ukienda Canada utarudi na Yesu. Amen. Ukikutana na nyakero mzungu Wachana hawa weusi wa Kenya. 
mweupe kabisa bado utasimamia Yesu Ninaamini kwenda na kurudi. Na pepo ya safari mimi haita ni shida. Wala mnatembea tembea safari iko na vita. Juda alienda safari. Na hapo ndio dhambi ya usharati iliingia kwake. Akakutana na usharati. Wala tumetembea tembea dunia. Ukienda dunia kuna pepo inaitwa pepo ya safari. Outside kule unaishi, outside mahali unajulikana, hii pepo huwa inakutafuta ni uchafuke. Naomba ukienda hata Canada utashida hilo. Amen. Ukienda Dubai hautalala na washaratu wa huko wa Dubai. Amen. Ukatiwa amen. amen. Utakaa na mke wako vizuri. Amen. Naomba wazee tupende wake zetu. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tukae na wao vizuri. Hata kama ulioa kana tashara hivi. Please vumilia na ye. Hivyo. Saizi hii kana ye. Hata hiyo mwana wa mungu. So number one is holiness. Wacha niombe obi hii. Obi la kwanza. Umenikubalia niombe. Bisho. Asante. You are struggling with the sexual sin. Unateseka na dhambi ya usharati na uzinzi. Iko kwa damu yako inawaka kama moto. Unaona hita nipereka jahanamu. Kuja tuombe hapa. Umuai toka inje ya doa yako. Na hata kama ulitubu. Iyo laana imesimama juu ya mke wako kutafuto na iyo roho. Kutakuja hapa pia. Kutakuombea leo. Sini mkutona ya waze. Kubali kuwa naked bere za mungu. Ufike pingu. Ukikuja hapa. Idhabi tutaishida. Nasikiza, sio gei mambo ya habari, wewe unaweza fikiria ni habari. Hata sisi tumepigana na hiyo dhambi kweli. Kila mtu wako hapa amepigana naye. Job alisema nimefanya maagano na Mungu kwa ajili ya wanawake. Kuja tupige mamoti hapa tuombe. Kama ni wewe umeteseka na dhambi ya washarati. Namba 2, umwai toka nje ya doa. Hata kama ulitoka zamani lakini bado uko umeoa sio before ukiwa umeoa ulitoka utakuja tupie mawati hapa ukikata itatimia you never blame me kibia kwa madhabahu tuombe mungu wa